Welcome back everyone to the Railroad Challenge where today I'll be building a road from the terminal down to the Badlands that are down in this direction and for this path I will be building it out of sandstone because I think that would be the best material to use and I will have sides to it that are going to be made of spruce I'm using spruce because that's what we've got down there and it'll be a nice change from all of the acacia that we've been using recently but I need to now get a path here going all the way through and give us a nice safe way down where we're not going to have the tourists and all going falling down to their deaths or anything like that trying to make it as safe as possible for them the first stage though we'll be making a course of sandstone to go all the way across to allow the sandstone to go as far as possible I'll be using a great deal of slabs for this though when I get to places where the elevation is changing I will be switching to stairs so I have both some slabs here some stairs here and I also have some standard blocks that I'll be using in cases where that will be completely necessary first I'm going to dig out a little bit of this I think that's enough for now and just get here yes it is hard to tell where the path is in this situation but as I'll be fenced on both ends with some spruce fences I think there'll be absolutely no problems for them to tell what is going on where because we do need it so that it's going to be safe for them and if it's going to be safe that means that we are going to have to have it fenced because if it's not fenced in how's it going to be safe from moss because we do know that those pillagers and other illagers like to pop in every once in a while and that's not even to ignore things such as zombies and skeletons and stuff like that now I suppose there is the matter of them having ranged weapons and all but I presume that they'll be instructed that in such situations the best thing to do is run and of course the path will be lit so that they won't spawn on the path itself so far so good but now we have this to worry about I'm gonna see if I could do this as a tunnel rather than trying to bring it all down first of all it'll be a nice source of sandstone but I figure that ooh, I better be careful with this because we are going to have some of these occurrences every once in a while There, like that and just dig our way through here eventually of course if we are going to have sand to worry about on occasion such as this location right here but I figure we'll just do this and eventually we'll get out through something like this nice part about this section is I don't have to worry about using up all of my sandstone resources while going through here because the floor is already sandstone it, well at least on the most part we do have these occasional pieces here and things seem to be changing right around this section now, I don't think I'm going to yeah I think too high is going to be enough it's going to be a short tunnel it's pedestrian crossing and if you're more than two meters tall well then it you'll have to duck a little bit and when we finally emerge from this tunnel looks like we are starting to see, yeah we are starting to see the badlands up ahead I can see the spire up there and not too many more ups and downs so I could take care of these pretty easily and we can head down there and we'll be he ready hitting red sand soon hmm. I think this is going to work there you go let me just finish up 
any details I have left here, but I think I have most of the floor all done courtesy of the world generator. Though, a couple of places I still need to work on. I think this makes a nice stopping point for the path. We go all the way from down here through the tunnel and back to the station. Now what I need here is a little bit of a rest spot for the tours who come down this way because obviously we need a safe enclosure for the tours to stay. So we'll need a little building probably right over here. This is where we'll have a rest spot and a bed and all that fun stuff. Then they could come out here and we see here obviously where we start into the Badlands area and for all the things to view. And now is that a tree up there or is that something out of place? Yeah, okay, that was a tree there. Things look funny sometimes, but they don't all render, render in properly. And also when you have this nice, we have the Badlands right here, but you also have this nice little bit of a forest here with the daisies and the cattle and all that stuff and if you're coming in from the desert side that must really be quite of a break so it's a mixture of both the nice plains that you've got over here and the stark picturesque view of the badlands and the meandering river I think that is a welcome sight after the long time that you spend through the desert and that is also part of what has me decide what am I going to do when I finish this because this is the last episode going on the west end next time I'll be starting in one of the other three directions I was like which direction to go in well one is the south okay, north direction no, no, no north direction it's more desert that's not going to do now to the south we have a spruce area followed by some other area. I'm thinking south is the direction I want to go next. So that's what I'm going to do is when we start on the next one I think south there's a slight chance I may change my mind and head east instead but north is definitely out. Before we go and take care of the little tourist spot. Let us first make sure that we have a path for them to travel and make sure it's safe. We have the path. We just need to make sure that it is safe enough for them to traverse because as I said earlier we don't want them to be ambushed by anything along the way. Now I suppose there might be a little bit of a problem with pillagers. Hmm. Oh, that'll make things so annoying. Should I try to make this unspawnable? Maybe I should test to see how this works because it would be an interesting thing to test to see whether or not pillagers will pop into something like this or if they have certain rules on what kind of spaces they can spawn on. And we have our spruce fence up all the way across releases as we can get down there so let's head back down the way as you can see coming up ahead we do have a little bit of a spruce fence up there I'm hoping that will keep mobs from spawning up there and then dropping on top of us and I did the same thing on the other side also I'm not too sure how effective it will be but hopefully it'll work and then this continues all the way down here until we come to our little 
location here. I've started building a foundation here. I thought I would do that before starting up the recording again. I got interrupted by a couple of pillagers and that shows you how important it is to have this place built because pillagers do like to pop up every once in a while. Personally, I think a little bit more than they should, but I suspect that since I'm playing in a snapshot, I can't complain about things being spawned at snapshot rates. There you go, and there you go. And this will be serving as our foundation here. Well, I don't know how much sand to put around here, but just get a little bit here. Now, there you go. Now we just need to make a floor. Mm, what to make the floor out of? Alright, that'll be our foundation. Floor! See, we got a pretty simple building here. This coming out here, we want something that has a wide view, of course. We're going to need glass. Yes. Something so that they could see the view and be able to know what's going on without being in danger from the illagers firing through. They want, they want it to be transparent even when there are illagers around. Yeah, perfect. Thus, let's see. I was wondering about using terracotta for this. I, I know I did sort of rejected it in the last spot. I'm hoping it would be a little bit more fitting here. How about if I start out with some terracotta? Preferably without extra bits strewn about. Mm, well, hopefully I won't need that sword. I know it's sunset and I said I'm hoping I don't need the sword. Well, yeah. Try that. I'm going on through all this, mm, trying to decide how am I going to get up and down around here. Scaffolding. Why do you think I made this stuff? Now I have around here some different colors. Let's see, can I get here? Yeah. I want to see how it looks on this side where I have it already in existence. See. Mm, I'm certainly not going to call this a great major beauty of architecture. That would be a bit of a stretch, I must say. But, see how that'll do. And, right. Why can't I get down here? Oh, there you go. Still need to learn how to use that better. Now, let's see. We need a floor. Well, first thing I need to do is decide, is this really what I want? Red sandstone would be nice, but I don't think I've got enough of that for it to work. I think I want a few more holes in here. Where's my pickaxe? There it is. One, two, three there, and one, two, three there. Little green terra. Put the. Yeah, we can put the green there. Now we will be one higher, probably up here or something like this, when we actually look through here. Uh, Yeah, it's ugly. Uh -huh. But, wait a minute. This is a tourist trap. Tour 
power straps looking tacky and ugly. I mean, when that almost goes hand in hand. Well, if you're being a bit stereotypical, right? So it doesn't have to look like a great thing of beauty or anything like that because it could fit the entire motif of what I'm building here. That's right. It's, it's what the software engineers call turning a bug into a feature. I am going to need a little bit more green terracotta, though, if I'm going to do this. In retrospect, this isn't quite right because we are going to need doors. Of course, and we need doors right here. Goes and have a pair of spruce doors right at the ready. And this is so that we can get in because obviously, ultimately, our job is to go out and see the sights. The protection and stuff like that here is just to make things a little bit easier when we have our <coughs> nasty visitors coming around. Of course, I completely forgot about this side. It does need to be closable because if it's not, we are going to have Pillagers just on the sides here or in skeletons shooting inside of this. So we obviously need to close this up also. Let us do that and place another pair of doors right there. Good. Now I think we've got a good site here. I've taken this out. I have the glass inside. Now on the top I need an observation point. I think the best way to do that is maybe stairs because I'm not too sure I want to ask the tourists to be climbing up scaffolding. So I'm only placing some. Oops. I'll place some stairs right up here. And then finally right there. And I think that'll get me. <laughs> well, it'll give me what I want if I place those in the proper position. Up there, up there, up there, up there. Okay, good. All right, I thought I heard something up here, but I guess not. And then we want something on top. And I was thinking of using, well, let's see, sp spruce up here. use this as a perimeter and then I will have a floor in which to put on top make it non spawnable this will be a little platform for the tour so which they could view because this is the indoor view with the glass in there of course you could walk out and walk among the areas but I would say also a little point on top where they could have a look and Hmm. Maybe the stairs need to turn. Up here we have our observation platform where we will need to have our stair a railing in order to keep anyone from falling off. Now I don't think this looks perfect, but It'll have to do, I think, because I don't want anything. Well, one thing it is to help, hopefully, to discourage mobs from coming here. But the other purpose of this is, of course, simply to keep tourists from falling off on the side. Now, I do need something to make this a little bit safer. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to do it this way. I think I've fallen off of that too many times to worry if that looks perfect or not. All right, good. And let's see. Oops. We want 
that to be on the same side as the others. Good. And normally I want them to be able to do this. Good. But I want them to be useful to keep things out if in a pinch if we have nasty things coming down here. It was out of the hole there, but certainly a phantom won't be able to get through there or anything like that. Good. Now they just finished out that last bit of fencing. Actually, let me check outside first. Then I'll worry about the last bit of fencing. Well, yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. It... The railing looks a little bit off, but then there it goes. Actually, could have looked worse. Yeah, I know that's not exactly what I call a resounding endorsement. It could look worse. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too sure I really want to quote that in the review press. It could look worse. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm sure some of the Yelp reviews are talking how it looks like. Yeah! Tacky tourist trap written all over it. And we'll just have a couple steps down here to help us down. There you go. And there you go. And we have our view of the majestic spires of the Badlands. Hmm. Now let's finish those steps. And by steps, of course, I mean the fences that I'm using as the railing. And there you have it. Our little lookout station so you can see the spires over uh, alright that looks bad let me get this over here but I think maybe it Sticking out a little bit on top isn't bad, but there you go. Hopefully that looks a little bit better. Ah, much better. And I think that's where we'll call it. That is our little... tourist location where they come in order to have a little stopover to look what's over there at the end of the walkway here. Try to remember what you call that place. Well, whatever it is, it's done. And that means we are done with the western line. And next time we are going to be starting out on the southern line where we are going to start heading out through the spruce area and using spruce I think is one of the reasons why I decided to do that one first to have a break from all the acacia I've been using before. But that's it for today's episode and that's it for this year. We'll return in January 2019 where we'll continue in the Railroad Challenge.